Wait. All right, how's it going? My name's IPA Fan, and this is Church of Drugs. Today we are doing dirt cheap beers where we started, everybody started. I'm starting off with a Mickey's Chug. Fuck my life. All right, next <laughs> is uh, Beer Lova. What's up? All right, I'm up already. Answer. All right, I'm up already. <laughs> You're up already. I'm going to be chugging a Pabst Blue Ribbon in. Uh, I got to tell you right I now, wanted. I, I paid a dollar nineteen for this can, which should really, you know, open everybody's eyes in reference to what we buy as far as craft beers. That's what's up. <laughs> you know what? Four dollars to seven dollars that we pay all of us per can, and that's a dollar nine. Right. We seem right. like rich folk. Gordy, you're up. <laughs> um, Gordy drinks craft, and I'm going with Rolling Rock today. So, mm. I actually like Rolling Rock still. It smells clear. good, super clear. So this is going to be super shitty going down. Rich, hey, drunken monkey here. I'm doing a ice house, tall boy. <laughs> Same thing, super clear. It's gonna, Ugh. it's going to suck. I said this in the chat, and I just want to say it while we're recording. This is the worst fucking topic we could come up with. <laughs> I am not. I am not happy with this. Is, one I wait, wait, wait. is it is it the worst topic or the worst chug? <laughs> both. 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 Because we're yeah. cruising with we're cruising with shit beer too. Too. True. That's right. <laughs> Whose idea was oh. this? Uh, the people good. have spoken. Yeah. Ice cream. What you got? Whew. It's old days. Damn, she went there. Old <laughs> also, Man, she did go there. She's gonna be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. 15. The only, the only thing I used to be able to drink two 40s of this. So I feel like if I could do that then, then I should be able to chug it. But we'll see. Dang. Dang. I don't know. Taste buds kind of change. He's chilling in front of his liquor store. Oh, yeah. All right, Ricky, what you got? All right, guys. I went with the Natty Light. Uh, Ooh, the Natty Light. My brother, that's my brother's favorite. <laughs> It's like water. Look yeah, at that. that's my brother's favorite right there. Mm. All right, I'll spit that yeah, shit that out. Hot dog water. Damn, oh look at that God. hot dog water. <laughs> water. <laughs> a little bit of that <laughs> sprinkle that truffle butter in there. <laughs> 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 look, look, everybody, hold their glass up. Ricky, compare yours to the rest. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Ricky. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, strike water. That is, awesome. that is light. For sure. <laughs> All right, Mr. Wet. Oh, man. Uh, wetness here. I'm going to be chugging uh, Rolling Rock. Yeah. Get it. And Brewski. Brewski Bonds. I'm going to be doing Coors Banquet. Ooh. And I'll probably be cruising on the rest of this can for afterwards. Yeah. That's my cruiser. Yep. All uh. right. Half in the chug, half in the cruiser. Uh. Okay. All right, with that being said, uh, Ice oh, Queen, you're in the center. Um, right. May Lord have mercy on our souls. And, right. Yeah. Uh, I need a bucket. I need a bucket. Yeah, close say, this might be the first episode we actually might. Wait, 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 we're wait. still going. You got you to gotta cheer them on, okay? Wait. Okay. Three. Jay, wait, wait, wait. Jay Hump just ran away. What, what happened? He went what to get hell? a bucket. He went to get it a bucket. It was so convenient, too. Right? There we oh, go. There we go. Jeez. Uh, yeah, we're waiting for your ass. Uh, your this, ass. Is, this is an awkward at all. <laughs> you can grab a bucket. Your ass. <sighs> Can't chicken out of this one, Jay Hump. Yeah, no, you're going to drink it. <laughs> he's going to come back. Oh, my glass is empty. I thought we were chugging. Yeah, that's who he's going to claim. We're just, we're just looking at a black spot down there. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Pun oh, we got a new black screen. <laughs> No, it that smells wasn't like a bag of Wonder Bread. That's all this smells like is a bag of uh, Wonder Bread. Maybe we should do it's ours and then sure it is afterwards. It's yeah. just oh, malty, like I'm red I'm not looking stuff. forward to this chug. I think that's this what we should do. Suck. We'll just chug it and then, oh, there, there he is. is. Go. See, yeah. Yeah. Did you get the bucket? Did you get the bucket? For you. Are you already done, yeah. Jaren? All right. You got to do it yourself now. We already did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the damn tablet went out. Uh, all right. right, everybody ready? All oh. right. Ricky, oh. Ricky, you're not fooling me. That's fucking water, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Three. You just put some ginger ale in there. Three, two, 
One, cheers. Cheers. The Bruja. The Bruja. Oh. oh my God. Oh. There it is. Is Ooh. there a such thing as a flavor of wheat uh, soda? Uh, that oh, was it. Fuck. This just tasted like wheat, like just like. Oh I'll just call me Look at Jaren. Uh, Look at Jaren. Keep it down, brother. Keep it down. Enjoy. Oh come on! Dude, you you shouldn't even show that. I would have poured that on the side. Like I finished it. I'm still uh, fucked up. Uh, I feel like yesterday. Uh, uh, that was gross. Oh. Hey, on, a, on a different note, Gordy, is that a modern day hat? No, no it's a new dead mall. Dead mall hat. But yeah, it, it looks like modern day. Is it the best mode? I love the way it looks because it looks like it's like MD for Mighty Ducks. Oh, or the oh. or, 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 or my dick. It be oh, it wow. Be any of those right things, off man. the bat. Yeah. Cheap ears come out and just boom. Dirty mother, you know. <laughs> By the way, let's give a big uh, happy birthday to a beer lover. You know, oh, stay late. Yeah. Happy birthday. I finally left my 40s. They're behind me. Mm. I didn't know it was your 50th. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah no, right? 50. Yeah. Wow, that's a big birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It so is. We should have been, so we should have been doing triple chugs today For instead real? of this shit. We could have started off with a triple right. Ricky, right, Ricky you know. was with me this weekend, so he knows what we've been drinking. I'm not doing any triple chugs. <laughs> I'm toxic yeah. on the weekend. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was The next, yeah, next chug is a tipper, right? Should I go get it? No. no, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> everybody can do an IOU. What's everybody drinking for the cruisers? Oh, the the rest of my drink. tours. I can't yeah, I like oh, you know what's up, buddy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's an that was actually that was actually my first beer. beer so I was like a growler. Fuck. <laughs> Smirnoff ice. Oh my right god, there, yo, Ice Queen's gonna get fucked up. Like. <laughs> She's gonna get fucked. She's gonna be spinning in her little race car chair. That was the plan. I did all my groceries, did all my mom duties because I'm like, that's oh, girl. Yeah, you don't work tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes, but I work from home. So oh, if I have a hangover. And have another drink. I just mm, wear my Might as well. Day. By all means. I was gonna do this for my brother's garage while we were there for my nephew, but I was like, yeah, I'll just get picked up. Mm. I'll have a few chugs, do the podcast, and then, then I'll head over. So I mean, uh, don't need me there. I'm not important. Before we Cisco, actually... did you happen to notice how sweet the nose is on this? It's super sweet. I'm I, I'm not going to pour it out, dude. I'm going to drink it in this because old school. Yes. Good. Yes. All right, you did it back in the day. That's the way to do There's it. The paper bag. Anyway. The paper yeah, bag yeah. To keep the wait, wait. Where's the duct tape? Right. Gotta tape your hand yeah. to it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the way. <laughs> dude. I don't care what anyone says on a freaking hot day. I'm still going for yeah. life. Sure. I fucking love hot Oh, life. I'd be down for a Mickey's too. I, I don't know why I didn't just grab the Mickey's 40. So really quickly, was anybody ever a dick enough to do one of these to a bottle to somebody? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, I was. I swear, I we did my hand every time. Yeah. I hang out I've had family. it done to me. I just never did it to anybody. You got to... <clears throat> <laughs> I never, I never I, did it to I anybody else either, but it happened to me a ton of times. Yeah, at the, yeah. At the Marine Corps ball. Okay. No. When yeah. someone gets you, plug it with the, with your thumb, point it at them, and you spray them. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, you like that, huh? <laughs> All right. So before we really get into any topics, uh, one light note is uh, shout out to uh, Chris Beer Zombie. His birthday today. Uh, one of the most yes. humble, <laughs> down to earth, fucking awesome oh, birds you'll ever run into. I've yet to run into anybody who said anything bad about him. Cool, cool motherfucker. Um, and a little bit sadder note is uh, we've had to say uh, goodbye to a member. Uh, Hoppy Bruja is not going to be with us on a regular basis. She will jump in every once in a while, but we are not going to be seeing her regularly on here anymore, unfortunately. That's um, a bummer. Yeah, but best luck to her. She's going to be doing great things anyway. So, sure. I mean, nothing, yeah. nothing negative. All positive. <laughs> Just not going to be seeing her on here that much. We love you, Bruja. <laughs> yes. right. Lots of love. Lots of love. All right. So let's get into it. Why did you guys bring the beer you brought? Anybody want to share? Like, other than, well, it was the cheapest shit I could find. <laughs> well, there goes my explanation. 
<laughs> like me personally, I brought this because this is the type of shit I drank back in the day when I first started. It was, yeah. it had the decent taste on it. It was, you could pound this shit. And literally with this size, I could sit there and drink it for, you know, an hour and just, that was all I was doing, you know? So I don't know. You're what do you guys got? Long. I'll have to go with the same. I mean, Shut I'm up, drinking man, the dude. same stuff. And you know what? It To me, this is like a liquid pretzel. This is actually kind of tasty. It was cheap. And if you wanted to get off and you know, and you don't have a lot of money, and this is a good way to get off because back in the day, we weren't looking for taste and flavor. We were looking to catch a buzz. This was the best way, in my opinion. Did they have that shit back in the day? Sure did, man. Yeah. This is yeah, this is my daddy's beer, bro. Come on now. Come on. So Al, you probably know more about this than I do, but I've heard that one of the reasons called the champagne of beer is because while they're making like Bud Light or Budweiser or whatever it is, this actually comes out faster than the other stuff. It's like the top of the barrels or top of whatever it is. Right, because like out. you're yeah, it's it's off the yeah, it's off the top of the barrel. So it's kind of like a skim, like I, I don't know, I don't know how you what you would call it, but you get beer from the bottom of the barrel and you get beer from the top of the barrel. Apparently this is the top. Top bar, yeah. So so it's so no, champagne. It's champagne, damn it. So I went with the good old Coors Banquet. I wanted some kind of flavor. I didn't want it to be super shitty. So, and I'm not going to lie. If I'm at a spring training game or something, I'll get one. Right. I actually wanted a PBR, but I couldn't find one. I actually like drinking PBRs when it's super hot. So, <clears throat> Just don't have too many PBRs. My personal mm -hmm. experience after about eight the next day is uh, not good. Oh, yeah, that's a bad angle. <laughs> Two tall boys and I'm, and I'm good. That's, that's my yeah, PBR. Pack. Yeah, the next day was not good. <laughs> so, uh, Ice Queen, you seem to be pretty uh, in love with your OE. Uh, <laughs> care to share why you... Yeah, flashback right um, now. <laughs> it just takes me back to, like, I graduated high school in 1998, right? What? So, um, for me, it was Wu-Tang and 40s of OE and smoking and parties and that's why I got the OE because I was like I wonder if I would still like it you know I like you said I would drink it just to get drunk obviously like a whole 40 and a whole buck 25 then you know 18 17 years old and like it's young you're not supposed to be drinking that was that's what teenagers did back then um so I drink it now it wasn't even it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be so not so bad. And the Schmirnoff ice too. Um, this I think is a little bit older than or younger than the OE. I mm -hmm. drank this my first two years in the military, like in the Navy. I was stationed in Washington State in Bremerton. It was nothing to do there. And um, me and my friends, like I had an apartment with like six other people, no lie. And um I used to drink this and we put Jolly Ranchers in them. Oh, it's yeah, like the Zimas kind of thing. Like, I want, yeah, yeah. I want to say after high school, I, I got into Smirnoffs as well because I think that was like a little phase. I want to say it got you yeah. fucked up really quick. So, so, just, so much so, like, this one's only four point five, but this is seven yeah. seven five. Small, yeah. So I didn't realize the difference, but I yeah. never paid attention to alcohol content when I was a kid. But now that I look at it, I'm like, why did you drink two forties of this? I was so small and like. I wonder anyway. I was so hammered. <laughs> a lot of peeing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're Why right. do I have to pee again? <laughs> what about you, Ricky? Uh, so I went, like, the first one that I went with was that Natty Light. Um, you know, the Natty Ice, Natty Light, man. That, I mean, this is like 4%, I believe. 4. Point, uh, let me get it right. Just, uh, I know I saw it on here somewhere. Ah, four point two percent. That's like that's like like you, you saw it. It's like water. Yeah. You know, you drink yeah. this, drink this all day. Plates with that. Yeah. Yet. And then I went with this, um, only because I used to buy these a lot. You know, uh, I paid the uh, three dollars and seventy five cents for both of these. Balance. Uh, the, the natty was it's two bucks. Crazy. Two, <laughs> so like you know, you get one seventy five together, you go down to the bodega, get yourself a little Valentine's. They also make an IPA, by the way. Which I couldn't find, but they they make an IPA, which is actually not that bad. Valentine's makes an IPA. Yeah, it, it just says same label and everything. It just instead of the X's, it just say um, 
India IPA oh, on the bottom. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I got to try that out. Yeah, if you guys ever see it, I mean, um, it's it's definitely <laughs> worth finding. Because you for sure had the oldest, oldest beer I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, I, like I swore that when I was like 11 years old. I and really it's going to have some flavor. You know, it's uh, it ain't bad. I mean, it ain't great, but it's not like I'm hating it. I have this weird feeling that um, that that Valentine's they did they were just trying to you know jump on the IPA train so sure. badly that they didn't even spell IPA correctly, <laughs> <laughs> and that just became their new logo or the label. Yeah. Um, what about you, Rich? Uh, you were anti beer back in the day, so I mean, I'm curious to hear what you got, man. So. I chugged this ice house. Right. Um, I, I basically just picked the cheapest beer I could find, like just shit beer that I just found in there. I was like, all right, what's like the cheapest, worst thing they have in this place? Still, so I got ice, ice house. They didn't have that. I would have got that for sure. Um, and then I'm cruising with Milwaukee's best ice. Um, you got I a hated six pack. I, I did. I had to. That's all they had. So I'm curious, um, did you have any of these way back in the day and you were like, no. this is shit and that was, so why no. were you so anti-beer Wait, no. back in the day? I hated, honestly, I hated the smell of it. With, what like, beer was it that got you where you were like, this is disgusting right away? I'm curious. Bud Light, Bud okay. Light and Budweiser. Yeah. That'll do it. We can all sympathize yeah. with you. You were sniffing Those were the, so I, I almost got Budweiser. But I was like, ah, oh, this is too, too this risky. is too normal. It's it's too normal <laughs> too compared to like right? it's too expected. If, <laughs> if too expected. I could get Milwaukee's best, I was like, Budweiser is so much more a step up than that. So I was like, I gotta go yeah. lower. Yeah. And it's just oh god, it's awful. I think awful. all of us could have gone <laughs> lower if we wanted to. We, but I, I, I don't think we wanted to put ourselves to that much misery, but hey, you're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> so, so one uh, of the, honestly, so one of the first things that I drank when I was in, when I was stationed in Pensacola, which was my duty station where I, I was learning what my job was going to be in the Marine Corps. We used to drink St. Ives special brew. So that was that like flavored malt liquor, like they had like fruit punch and mango and stuff like that. Oh, like, like, I like used a four loco or juice. Yes. Nice. I used to drink those. I used to drink those with my buddies while we played. I was like 18 or 19 and we drink those in the barracks while we played cards. And I can't, obviously I can't find that shit anymore. So I was like, well, I'll just get the fucking cheapest thing I could find. And same thing is like, uh, same thing as Ricky. Like I spent like five bucks. I got a six pack and a tall boy for like five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to say I got three tall boys for about seven. So it, it's, it's super cheap. Yeah. Uh, so that reminds me though, because I used to do those flavored malt liquor ones too. Like when I was like 21 to drink 23, 24, then they changed it up and it just all oh, like the whole buzz just changed. Yeah. Because people were just drinking too much of it at a young age and just getting too messed up. So they had to change we, something in it. So we would go to the gas station and whichever one looked the oldest, which <laughs> apparently I, which apparently most of the time I did, would just walk in and just try to buy it. And they wouldn't card us. And they were just like, all right, have a nice night. And it's like, okay. And then just walk out. Beer since you were 12? <laughs> right. I was like nine, I was like 19 at the time. I, I have this crazy feeling that Rich, you look pretty similar to how you do right now. At yeah, Anthony. yeah, I have a feeling you had a good solid beard when you were like nineteen. I think you just brought it out. I think Rich was out of beard. There's always that one kid that had a beard like when they were like in like ninth grade in the. Kid. <laughs> that was me. I had chest hair in ninth grade. It's almost like so the bench was... warmers, you know, when he has that little card that says "I am 13." He has a fucking full <laughs> beard. <laughs> My name is Nick Lovin. I'm 12. He's I'm really Lovin. crayon. <laughs> so uh Stop. the last two members brewski and Kraft, that you guys are here you guys i think are the youngers of all of us so i want to hear what your your experiences was like starting out with beer because i have a feeling it might be a little bit different than ours but probably not that different oh me personally i would like we would play drinking games and like beer pong or flip cup and basically either coors or miller light 
And whatever's in the cup, I'll just down it quick so I don't have to sit there and taste it mm. or sip on it all night. So I'll just, all right, well, let me get it out the way. And basically, we'll just have an ice chest full of light beers, like Coors, Bud Light, uh, Miller Light. That way, it's just cheap, and we just have plenty of beer for the party. Nice. All right. That's, so for It was for either me, that or like those flavored malt liquor drinks. Yeah, like the four locos and shit. <laughs> yeah. That shit no fucked more. me up. No more of those. <laughs> we do. For real. Four locos, no joke. They used to be worse. Yeah. So what about I you? I almost bought one of those today, but it wasn't oh. the biggest thing. <laughs> and I was like, I got a function with my kids in the house. I can't. You, you you don't buy that like to enjoy. You buy that to catch a buzz, man. There's you no like. You buy that to yeah. act the fool. Yeah, funny. no, that, I've only ever had it one time. It, it works. You buy that when you got some catching up to do. I buy that when I'm with my sisters. <laughs> so one will drive and the other two will drink for loco and then we go shopping together. It's really oh, cool. That sounds fun. <laughs> sounds yeah. I can imagine how one, she gets returned the next day. She made all these impulse buys. <laughs> This looks good. Nick says, yeah. like, this shit don't look right. good at all. I cannot, the sober ones never I cannot imagine what Ice Queen with her two sisters drunk looks like. That must be, oh, that must be a party. I want to I wanna yeah. be there. Yeah. There's a yeah, lot of twerking sure. videos. Be a, a lot of our children being embarrassed. You know? should parents do? Should be a fly on the wall for that. <laughs> Any good parents going to embarrass their child? Yep. I, right? I have seen a twerking video of her and her sister. Oh on the my porch, goodness! On the porch in New York, going nuts, and her kids acting super embarrassed. Like, what are you <laughs> doing? Like, Sam, Sam was that's usually that what up. it consists of, pretty much. Back we don't back. embarrass our kids, as most of our kids are like <clears throat> almost eight, ten, and up. So they're at that age where it's like right. And our parents did that to us. Like my parents embarrassed the out of us when we were kids. So we got to keep it going. Yeah, we and you really enjoy it now as a parent. So you know. All right, J Hope, get a little bit more into your story. You you kind of just yes. touched on it. Okay, so um, of course I'm cruising with Rolling Rock. Um, back in my twenties, like our backyard barbecues and stuff like that. All my uncles. That was like, that was like two years ago. Shut up! Shut your mouth. <laughs> Let me finish my story. Okay, before I was interrupted. Shut the fuck up. Backyard barbecues. My uncles were that, uh, back there drinking and stuff. They never had 40. They never had Old English. They always had this. So I'm like, oh, what the fuck is that? So I started drinking it. I was like, okay, this tastes like water. It's nothing. <laughs> Let me get another. So like 12 later, <laughs> you don't feel nothing. Yeah. So I, was, I was like, all right, we keep drinking these. We keep drinking them. Keep drinking them. And like just from there on, like I've just been drinking these. This and Stella, that's all they had. I don't know how old Stella is, but um, oh, I think so. It's pretty old. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty old. I, I like that one too. But yeah, this is Rolling Rock. Rolling Rock would be like a like ten something for a twelve pack too. Well, yeah. I pay eight, I pay eight ninety nine for a twelve pack of these, so that's pretty cheap, now. pretty cheap. Hear me out. When I first really started trying to explore beers, not not craft beers, but you know, different other than Budweiser and Bud Light, uh, Rolling Rock Rock was still known as like a better beer it wasn't cheap as shit like a 12 pack would cost you 13 14 dollars <clears throat> then it got bought out by like budweiser and then the price dropped the quality dropped a little bit but not that much which i think that's why I, rolling rock has a special place in my heart where it's like it got cheaper and the quality stayed pretty damn close to what it was yeah yeah, the quality is not it's not too bad it's not like yeah. uh, the, the natty daddies or whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hot dog waters and shit <laughs> still pretty damn good <clears throat> so i i think gordy you brought this up before um um and katie brought it up for sure which is one of the weird things about these beers is because they're so light there's no shame in actually loving these type of beers when you're at like a ball game or fucking mowing the lawn, or fucking you just did a bunch of yard work, or whatever it is. Like you, beach. Yes. Beach. Yeah. you crave these beers, and a lot of people were like, "Oh, well, I thought you're all about craft." It's like I am, but I don't you fucking just, want that. Right. Shit you want to enjoy a good beer without being like just I'm angry. You, you want to watch today. the game still. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah. I actually bought a Corona Familiar. 
So, and I was going to, I was going to bring it on here, but I was like, I think that's another totally different topic that we should hit, like Mexican lagers and stuff. Yes. But that's another good, solid, cheap beer, in my opinion. It's better than Corona. It's definitely yeah. a step up from Corona. Yeah. The familiar, two familiar. different kinds of beers. People should know that. Definitely. What about, uh, anybody else have like, uh, I'm sure we could all share our horrible experiences with, with, uh, light beer, but when you when you drank the light beer, was there like a part that like, I, I want to hear from Al specifically, but like, <clears throat> is there any part where you're just like, this is delicious, but at what point of drinking all the delicious light beer were you like, this is starting to taste bad for me. Like I want something with flavor. Like a light he definitely beer. went totally opposite with this conversation. <laughs> like, like for a, a light beer, the only yeah. light beer that I was subjected to before I was like, you know, drinking a lot of crap, like when I was like 20 or 19, yes, I drank underage, was Amstel Light. Mm. That was the one beer that I- Amstel Light, it, okay. There wasn't a lot of know what that light is. beers that were flavorful. Amstel Light was a flavorful Amstel beer. Light was decent. Yeah, yeah no, it, was, it, 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 was, it was a decent yeah. beer. I never liked Bud Light because really like the price difference between buying Bud and Bud Light was like, I think maybe 30 cents for the whole like six pack. And mind you, I used to buy Budweiser six packs for four eighty five, like this is back. Like, yeah, come on. I mean, I'm, I'm a little old, so yeah, yeah. So that was the price for a six pack of beer. But Absolite was the one that you, if you had a little extra cash to spend, that would be the one. Um, but uh, the, the the question being, well, I'm sorry, it was where, where did you go from the like light dirty to like I want a little bit more flavor in these light beers? Not necessarily to craft, but you know, just trying to push that way. Well, it, I actually, I never really got sick of the Amstel Light. It was always a good beer to, you know, to go to as far as like a flavorful light beer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't, I don't actually, I don't even know why I stopped drinking that. It was actually a really good beer. That maybe I should reinvest in some, uh, some more of those beers, but I never actually got like tired of it. I mean, I, I don't, I don't actually think so, I have a beer that was like, I'm tired of this shit. Let me move on to something else. Amstel Light was always a good beer. I think that was... That's about as best so, as I can give you. Fair. I want, to, I want to say I was about 24 when I decided to start letting go of like the butt light, course light and stuff. So I switched over to Pacifico, Modelo. Then I got introduced to Sam Adams. I know you guys hit that on the last episode. And um, that's when it all changed for me. I was like, oh, there's actually more decent beers out here. And then that's when butt light and course light was like, I'm done with them. Like, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Did, did you guys see that Sam Adams or they made an IPA? Is that old? Yeah, they, they, yes, they, they tried had. to make an IPA about two summers ago. They were yeah. just way too late in the game because they, they were losing out to all these IPAs because the the, yeah. uh, the Boston Lager was such a great beer, but then the IPAs came in and they were losing foothold. They tried to make it, it was it too is. late, and they were never, <laughs> never. They're just behind on the competition. Yeah, absolutely. They were way too late in the game. So yeah, I, I, I like, go ahead, Bursky. I was going to say, like, I. The Boston Lager from Sam Adams and like Blue Moon and Shock Top was what got me kind of more out of the light beers. So that's what kind of got me started onto those beers. Uh, so this is open to everyone, but first I want to hear from Ricky. You've kind of been quiet. Do you guys think that these water light beers are a necessary evil in a sense? Like either you need it to start out or you need it to appreciate greater beers later or whatever it is, but like a necessary evil. You know what I mean? Hmm. Ricky, what do you got? Uh, is it a necessary one? I mean, I think it is. I think it definitely is. Uh, you know, it's it's like, like uh, I think who said it, somebody said it, I think Al or, or maybe if it's Jay Humpo. You know, this is what you, this is what you saw at your, at your, you know, at your dad's barbecue. You know what I'm right. saying? Some of this stuff what you saw at your at your you know family barbecues and that's what you kind of got introduced to um you know um i don't think we i don't think we would have been the same if we started off with those seven 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 or you know ten percenters <laughs> from the get-go you know? yeah. you need that, you need that light introduction yeah they got the, um, they got the light you know those those were all there that's right the, yeah it's about the, oh, one that sorry. i was reminded of when i was talking about that that kind of like that push away from like these light beers was uh, um the Newcastle the brown ale. Oh yeah, um, oh, I used to drink a lot too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember I remember just picking one up because I saw it and I was like, oh, let me try this. This is new. I haven't had it. <laughs> I picked one up. I was like, oh, this is interesting. It 
different flavor, different, uh, you know, different profile. Nut brown ale, sure. I think with that one, you really start tasting the different flavors from a light yeah. beer. You're like, holy shit, flavor there's something to... else. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about you guys, but like this was, uh, I'm going to say young college or yeah, young college. And then the, uh, the Newcastle was older college beers. <laughs> Like when you had a little <laughs> bit more money and you actually brought the Newcastle and you were like, okay, yeah, I want to taste my beer, but yeah, right. <laughs> but you, you know, in regards to I, yeah, I definitely we saying, go ahead. I was gonna say in regards to what um, Cisco was saying about like uh, the uh, the hell were you saying? I, I just had it in my head. Um, Young college, old college. No, no, introduction prior to that, beers. about the the uh, the, no. the evil necessity no. of having okay. a light yeah. beer. It's great to refer back to it to appreciate because, like, listen, we can be crushing all week long IPAs, juicy IPAs. What's good? When you refer back to what you started with, it gives you perspective. It gives you some sense of like, okay, this is what I used to have, and here's the flavors that can be had in today's beers. So for me, it's it's a good way to go back. I love going back to these old beers. I mean, I'm enjoying this. I'm actually enjoying this. Really? Big really? Time. Really? But, Did you enjoy that Bud Light? last week <laughs> no <laughs> not at all before, before not it because all. that was really not a good tasting beer but again it gives you this point of reference of like okay what is more flavorful what has more depth what has more juiciness or compared to the old school beers that we drank when we were kids so for me there's a point of reference and it really brings you back to what you want to drink so i'm liking this but so, i love my juices 100 percent agree gordy on that note um like big family events I know sometimes we don't bring all our good beer, but is there some old beer that we all kind of like fall back on? Like for me, it's Modelo. I always fall back on yeah. Modelo. Modelo. You know? For me, it's Stella. I could do yeah. Modelos. I got my Miller. <laughs> like yeah. Apple, yeah, the Miller's the one I'd go back to, sure. Fuck Budweiser. Sorry. Yeah, if I see Miller Lite, I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. Like Miller Lite was one type beer I could do. Nice. Um, That's about so it. <laughs> we're just about to cut it out. Um, <clears throat> is there anything you'd want to add about uh, anything light beer related? It is funny though, because uh, there was one time I bought like a four pack of beer and my brothers were all hanging out. And uh, once I ran out of my beers, all they had was Bud Light. And I'm like, God, I thought I went into the store, but hey, can somebody drive me? Like, nah, man, we're all drinking. What are you doing? Just grab a Bud Light. <sighs> Fine. Yeah. So I go grab go. a Bud Light, crack it open. And, hey, look, he's drinking a Bud Light. Take a picture, hurry. <laughs> 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 man, don't judge me. <laughs> I would have said, uh, look, I was handing it to somebody else, man. I was right? just somebody It's not mine, I swear. <laughs> he probably got that picture framed in it's his It's on room. Instagram, right? <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, another great episode. Thank you, Brewski, for joining us on this one. Um, next episode is going to be special. We're going to have a non sequitur on, who a, was a gypsy brewer, and we're going to talk about gypsy brewers in general and whatnot going to be pretty exciting uh so with that being said thank you everybody have a good one